Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm reviewing Hannah's first aid kit set that comes with two Icelandic ponies. Um, this is a really cute set, it's been sold from 2018 and it's continuing to be sold now. I'm not sure if it's retiring this year, 2020, but I'm pretty sure it will retire either this year or next year. It hasn't, from what I've seen, it hasn't sold very well, but it's a very cute and smaller set so it's easily affordable set i believe it's about a 10 to 15 dollar set and it comes with two horses including a little icelandic foal that is not hard to find but everyone seems to like him and i'll show you why in a minute so this set i'm gonna move my other my two over this set comes with this is what the set comes like it's in a box um it comes with a stethoscope a syringe up here, so stethoscope and syringe. Those are from Apples. This is the Icelandic fall with a little leg wrap. It's got one leg wrap. Comes with the Icelandic mare, and this is the mare. And then it comes with the veterinary box. So that's what it comes with. So out of the box, I got these two. And these two are the mare and fall. So the mare, I would call her a smoky cream dun. If you don't know what that is, it's a horse that, a black horse that has a cream gene, but she don't have a dun stripe, so. Okay, it's a black horse that has a cream gene and a dun gene, but duns usually have a darker stripe going down the back. But she's got the darker legs. So she may be, she can't be a buckskin, because she'd be a tanner if she, if she'd be a tanner color if she was a buckskin. So she's a very unique color that isn't a very natural horse color. It's probably something like a uh, Grula um, cream, Grula flaxen or something like that. Some random color because she kind of has a lighter mane and tail, which Duns don't. But that's another, a whole nother business. She has a blue braid in her mane and she's got a nice red braid in her mane. And she's got a braid running down her neck, which is really cute, but the mane is not very natural looking. The head's a little um, Roman shape. It doesn't look natural on the front. And the reason I think this is because, and let me grab her, is I believe this model is just a variation or a remake on the 2015 Icelandic mare mold. And the reason I believe this is if you look at the 2015 over here, the Palomino, it's very similar except for the head. So if you look at everything but up on this part, if you look at the butt, the haunches, the haunches are very similar. The tail is exactly the same. They each have a little notch coming out here and then it's going out to the left. The legs are the same. The back right leg is a little more forward than the back le leg on both of them. And the back, the front right leg is a little bit more forward than the front left leg. So I noticed that. And then the chest are the same. They're about the same height. So she's a little chunkier. And she's got a curved neck more than she does. But I believe the face on this horse looks a little weird because they took out the forelock. So that's just one little secret that I've noticed. Is these two are like the same model. Just slightly different. Um, so she's just like a remake of the 2015 Icelandic mare model. So that's the mare. Um, her color, I like the shading on her color. If I ignore the fact that she doesn't look very natural horse colored. I love how she's got the darker legs and darker feet. And then she's got variated color for the mane and tail. And I like the braids. I like how they put the two different colors on her braids. The face is still definitely not my favorite. She's got a very awkward looking face. Very small nose. Broad for, um, forehead. So other than that, she's... And she's got good shading. She's got a little bit of shading here. I'm sure it varies from model to model. I believe the one in my background has a lot more shading than mine that I have pulled out. But other than that, she's a cute little model. I like how she's a pony size. And I really like her, um, her color. It's very unique. Now, the fall is a very similar color to her, but is a lot tan, like more tan colored. Um, more of a yellowish gray than a whitish gray, like mom over here is and it's pretty much the exact same paint job other than the body is a lighter and more yellowish color um this is a really cute mold i love this mold he's got somewhat of a dark line going down the back it's hard to tell 
and see, but he's got a slight shading going down the back, slight shading behind the elbow and near the stifle. He's got darker legs, darker muzzle, black eyes, which are should be they should have shading around them. I don't like how that one doesn't have shading around. The mare's a little bit better. But model wise, I really love this model. It's um a really cute model. It was originally, I believe, the 2012 Icelandic pony foal model, which it came in a paint color. And it's come out in multiple other colors. I've seen chestnut and I think I've seen buckskin. But he's a really cute color, well, really cute mold. Color's a little off because it's not a natural horse color. And he's a little yellower than mom. I love the mold because his tail swings back here. He's gating, which is my favorite thing. He's got great definition of the fur and of his body. He's very well balanced. So this is a really cute set they did. Um, it's a really good deal in my opinion because you get two horses and then you get pretty much a tack box and then some equipment for your horses. So I strongly recommend getting this set if you enjoy doing like first aid or vet stuff. Um, color wise, the horses aren't the best. Model wise, I actually like the models of the horses. Um, other than her, the mare's face. But they're really, um, the horses stand really well on carpet and are really sturdy feeling. So I strongly recommend getting this set, um, adding it to your collection. Because it's just a different color of horse and their ponies too. Because ponies are really fun to have in your set. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. And hopefully I'll get more videos out soon. See y'all later.